Hello Mr. Taves. We are anonymous. Over the past several days, we have been watching you. You have continued to deceive the Canadian people by claiming that the information made accessible to police by Bill C-30 is no greater than that which can be found in a phone book. Tell us Mr. Taves, in what phone book can you find an individual's internet browsing history, their private emails, their financial information, their credit card number, and all their personal contacts. How convenient it is that you failed to mention Bill C-30 would not only allow police access to this information without a warrant, but would make it illegal for internet service providers to inform their customers that their information has been accessed by the RCMP or CSIS. You have continued to waste the Canadian public's time and money by demanding a parliamentary investigation into the legal release of public records. We are not shocked in the slightest, as this is consistent with your pattern of ignoring true wrongdoings in favor of feigning moral outrage. What is shocking, not to mention extremely disturbing, is that you have claimed you are surprised by the contents of Bill C-30, a bill that you yourself tabled. This is a pathetically transparent attempt to feign ignorance in the face of a massive public backlash. However, let us imagine for a moment that you are telling the truth. Let us imagine that you, an elected official in the House of Commons, either did not take the time or are simply too dim-witted to understand a piece of legislation that you yourself championed. A piece of legislation that legalizes governmental spying on Canadian citizens, and effectively ends the right to privacy in this country. This alone is grounds for you to tender your immediate resignation. The fact that you spawned this catastrophic failure to perform your duties as an argument in your own defense would be laughable were the consequences not so dire. Of course, we all know this is simply another addition to your ever-growing web of lies. And this isn't the first time you have found yourself tangled up in your own web of deceit, is it, Mr. Daves? The Canadian public is now well aware that you carried on multiple affairs during your 30-year marriage to your first wife, all the while selling yourself as a devout Christian who championed so-called traditional family values. Quote, Marriage is a uniquely heterosexual institution, that indeed is a sacrament. Marriage is one of the cornerstones upon which our society has been built. And yet, even after demonstrating you do not believe a single word of that statement, you continue to imply that your dedication to your personal family relationships makes you a suitable candidate for political office. Anonymous has gained access to a letter you recently sent to your constituents. In it, you quote Yates, All this life can give us is a child's laughter, a woman's kiss. Do you think the Canadian people are stupid Mr. Taves? Do you honestly think that quoting saccharine poetry to us is going to convince us you are a God-fearing family man? Especially now that you are living in a common law relationship with your former mistress, the very sort of relationship you turned your nose up at when it suited your political interests. Mr. Taves, you have used the illusion of a traditional family life, faith, and moral values as tools in your desperate bid for power, all the while trampling on the rights of others. You have used your own family as pawns in the creation of this illusion. Once again, you have inserted your spouse and children into this debate as rhetorical devices. We warned you that you would not be allowed any secrets if you did not allow the Canadian public any secrets of their own. Therefore, we are naming the woman you referenced in this letter to your constituents. The woman Vic Taves is cohabitating with, whom he impregnated in an affair that took place during his first marriage, is Stacey Meek. She is employed in an administrative capacity by Senator Terry Stratton. She runs a public relations firm based in Toronto. She previously worked for Conservative MP Joyce Smith, and is currently listed as a constituency assistant for Conservative MP Joyce Bateman. In the past, she was employed by Issues Inc., a consulting and publishing company based in Winnipeg. Of course, we're sure you had absolutely nothing to do with Stacey Meek being hired by Senator Stratton, Mr. Taves. Surely a man like yourself with such solid moral convictions would never engage in that kind of nepotism. Stacey Meek has a father, Joe, who is a doctor of veterinary medicine, a brother, Jeff, a sister-in-law, Rhea, and two nieces, who we shall not name, all of whom reside in Winnipeg. Her mother is deceased and passed away due to cancer in, in 2002. We also have information about your youngest son, who was the product of your affair with Ms. Meek. However, as he is only four years old and entirely innocent in this matter, we will not release this information. Anonymous does not hold the son responsible for the crimes of the father. We have also decided not to release your personal contact information, such as your phone number and address, at this time, as we understand you have received credible violent threats from members of the public. However, the woman you are cohabitating with is politically active, a government employee, and in particular is a constituency assistant to MP Joyce Bateman, who voted yes on Bill C-30. As such, we have no qualms about releasing information about her to the Canadian public. 
Shall we continue, Mr. Taves? Do we have your attention? How does it feel to have personal information about your family in the hands of people you know nothing about, with no control over who disseminates it or how it will be used? Let it be known this is only a taste of the information we have access to, and this is only the beginning. And yet, it is nothing compared to the personal information of millions of Canadians that will be collected, stored, and scrutinized by the authorities if Mr. Taves and his corrupt government are allowed to pass Bill C-30. If this outrageous piece of legislation is allowed to pass, the government will have access to massive legally required databases filled with information on your spouses, your children, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your friends and your neighbors. Let it be known, Mr. Taves, that Anonymous will do to corrupt politicians exactly what you are attempting to do to the Canadian public. There will be no two-tier system of privacy for the government and the people of this country. You, and any public official who spies or supports spying on Canadian citizens, will reap exactly what you have sown. It would appear you have made many political enemies Mr. Taves. Since Anonymous made an email address available through which the public can submit more WikiLeaks, we have received no less than a dozen emails from your peers in Ottawa, several of whom have offered information or have made offers to provide us with information. And that does not include the messages from members of the public who know you in a personal capacity. And to the rest of the Parliament of Canada, you would do well to mind your words about Anonymous. Any attempt to score political points by claiming we are associated with a particular political party will not be met kindly. Your party affiliations are utterly irrelevant to us. Our only interest in this matter is protecting the freedom of information, and protecting the privacy of Canadians from the tyranny of our own government. Anonymous demands the immediate resignation of MP Vic Daves, the scrapping of Bill C-30 and C-11 in their entirety, and a formal apology to the people of Canada for referring to them as supporters of pedophilia, and more importantly, for attempting to undermine their most basic civil rights. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.